This is a review of the Asus RT AX58U or AX3000. This router is powered by a Broadcom 64-bit tri-core processor at 1.5 GHz with 512 MB of RAM and 256 MB of flash storage. As the name suggests, it has the capability of 3000 MB of transfer speeds when both the 2.4 and 5 GHz are combined, but only on Wi-Fi 6. More on that later. It also comes with Asus AI Protect, which protects your devices from internet threats and offers advanced parental controls, but only when the device is connected to the Asus router. The companion app, which is available on both Android and iOS, has all the settings as the web client. This allows you to adjust settings with ease from your phone. In the box, you will find Asus' warranty, an instruction sheet, the router itself, a quick start guide, a power cable with detachable plugs for your region, mine came with both a UK and EU plug, and finally a Cat5e Ethernet cable. The router has four non-detachable antennas which comes in a 2x2 arrangement. On the back you will find a power switch, a 5 gigabit per second USB 3 port, 4 gigabit LAN ports, a gigabit WAN port to connect to your modem and WPS and reset buttons. The advertised speeds of 3000 megabits per second over Wi-Fi is only achievable on Wi-Fi 6 compatible devices. However, with Wi-Fi 5 the maximum speeds achievable is only 867 megabits per second which means it could be slower for all devices than a standard AC router. In my opinion, Asus should put this information on the front page for the router as even in 2020 there are still only a handful of Wi-Fi 6 compatible devices. Though for everyday use, unless you have a gigabit connection, 867 megabits per second is still plenty. Now for some speed tests. This is tested on the Virgin Media Super Hub 3 in the same room as the router. And this is with two walls in between me and the router. As you can see, the current speeds are very inconsistent as the test in the living room is actually faster than that in the same room as the router. Now with the RTX 58U. This is on 2020 iPad Pro which has Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. As you can see, the speeds have dramatically increased. This is the same for the test downstairs with two walls in between me and the router. Finally, some power transfer speeds. The average speeds I reached with FTP is 100 megabytes per second, which is around 800 megabits per second. 